Hey, how you doing? We're uh, the Slow Traveling Singers. This is our first vlog. Um, I guess I should tell you a little bit about ourselves. So we're a Vagabond family. And what that means basically is we sold all of our stuff on Craigslist. And we bought this Honda Insight Hybrid because it's good on gas mileage. And we're just going to drive all over the United States checking out all the scenes with my wife and two kids. We're currently in Rapid City, South Dakota, and we're on our way to Mount Rushmore. So why don't uh, my family, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hello, my name is Jack, and I, I don't know, this is our first video. So I want to become a gameplay, whatever thing, and we're a skateboarder, so. Sorry, Tessie. I really do not know. What about you? You gotta introduce yourself. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so um, I guess that's it for now. We're on our way up to Mount Rushmore right now, so we'll film some more when we get up there. So I'll be honest with you, it's I, I thought it was gonna be way bigger than this. Me too. It's still cool, but yeah. I actually thought it was gonna be bigger. Me too. I, I like how it's funny that George Washington gets a coat and everybody else doesn't. Well, I read that they were supposed to have bodies like all the way down to their waist, but they didn't, they never finished. Well, them, only like George Washington. Yeah, he's got kind of a, I guess he called that a bust. Yeah. All right, well. Oh, um, cool. We, we forgot to introduce Brutus. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Here's our dog, Brutus. He's an English bulldog. And we, I think we rescued him. Brutus. <laughs> I don't know. You're sad, Brutus, that you can't go to Mount Rushmore. He, yeah. He's like, he's like. Oh, look uh, depressed. He, he does look. Depressed. Poor Brutus can't see Mount Rushmore. Not dog friendly. Well, it's shady at least. Yeah. So he can catch. And it's run. time for his. It's time for his daily nap, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's check it out. At least it's nice today. It feels like 60. So it says it's 50 degrees out. It does. And it's Ooh, empty. And it's empty. And this it's is the time to come to the national parks. It's I'll tell you that. So no I think the person, the president who has the most hair, is probably Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, I think you're right, dude. Um, second. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, probably the most, who doesn't have the most hair? Is me. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it would be George Washington. Yeah, I think you're right. He had a receding hairline. <laughs> Alright. No, let's let's walk up. Okay. So what did you just learn? That Fre President Jefferson was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence and the first ice cream Recipe. Oh, recipe recipe of America. Come grab a taste of history at the moral memorial memorial ice cream shop. Not bad. Not like Whoa! Anything. I had no clue that yeah. Jefferson came up with the first ice cream recipe. Did you know that, Tessie? Not yet. You did. <laughs> did you do that? What recipe was it for? Uh, I don't I, know. I, I, what flavor do you think it was? I would think chocolate. Vanilla. Vanilla. I'd say, I would say vanilla. you were right. Yeah, I think it's vanilla. Because look, vanilla. You're oh, right. Oh, yeah, maybe. Right. Look, Hammer look, here, if you guys can hear this, look how much sense this is. I know. Isn't that a lot? It's good. What? Hi. Family. <laughs> Hello. It's really cool here. If I'm sitting on this thing, look how much money it's actually it's nice weather, huh? Yeah. It's actually kind of scary. And it's not very crowded, huh? Oh my god, that almost hit, that almost hit a girl. It's wow. a good time of year to come. It's a great time of year to come. It's nice out and there's nobody here. Yeah. Hi! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
parkour. What do you got, Tessie? What? What do you got? <laughs> oh. Nice. Teddy bear kick. <laughs> we'll call that the dying pigeon. <laughs> this is the <a> birdie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's walk down here. No, no, not that way. This way. Okay. Down the ice. Let's watch the ice. I just almost got stung by a bee. Yeah? <laughs> oh, go. All right, watch the ice, guys. Now I'm scared. Why are you scared? Okay, I just almost got stung by a bee. A bee, like, right in the back of my neck and stuff. So. Okay. So, I am actually getting used to this now. This is only the first episode. So, we're going to make some more, like, every week or so, or day. I don't know. Um, they're way down there. Um, Should we meet them? Yeah, let's get on there. Oh, oh crap. Wow. I wasn't ready for that. I was like, whoa. I'm going to get in the hotel. Clearly, we've been in the hotel too long. Hi. Yeah, from them. Yeah, we're going down here already. And I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Okay. What did you think of the video we just watched? Oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, we watched a whole video on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> so. We learned that like they ex they were on the top of it and they threw dynamite onto it. So to carve it, right? Yeah. They didn't just throw it though, did they? Well, yeah. And they drill little holes. Oh yeah. So you knew exactly how much to take off. Yeah. This is actually kind of cool. I like how they have like a little stage and stuff. Yeah. That was the bee that just almost stung me. Hey, Jack. Jack. Yeah. Well, look. Hey, now that you're a junior ranger, you have to wear this hat. No, I don't. Everywhere we go. No, you're not filming. Come on, dude. But you're filming? You want to wear this? You're a junior ranger. Turn it around. Turn it around so we can see the... There you go. Perfect. Nice. What do you think? I don't like it. No? no? You don't want it? You were filming. Hmm? You look so cute. Well, you look I awesome. I don't get it. <laughs> we just got done at Mount Rushmore. What did you guys think? I like it. Cool. Was it Pretty cool? cool. I well, thought it was going to be a little bigger. Me too. It's still really cool. Yeah, I did too. That's pretty cool. What did you think, Mama? Bigger. I thought it was pretty big. I mean, it's a whole mountain. <laughs> it is pretty big. I just, that's pretty that. amazing, putting dynamite in there and able to carve out people's heads. That is pretty cool, yeah. yeah. So we're on our way now to the Crazy Horse Memorial, um, which isn't anywhere finished. I talked to a guy today, he said it would take them 140 years to finish. Um, they won't take any federal money to, to build it, even though the federal government said they'd pay for it. Um, but I get it, you know. Hit it. So now we're so we're rolling in here to Crazy Horse. Uh, what do you guys think? Very cool so far. Yeah. Yeah, pretty um, cool. I don't think you can look from in front of it. That's oh. okay. Yeah. Well, I think it's supposed to be like a side profile because when it's done, he's going to be on his horse. Oh yeah. That's what that window is. That's like his horse, part of his horse, I guess. Oh yeah, they have it drawn out there. Look at that. It's drawn oh, yeah. out in white so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Why do they have it drawn in white? Well, so you can see what, envision what it's going to eventually look like since it's not where, finished where yet. Where is it? Why is it drawn in white? Yeah, up, on the, up on the rocks. Right, 
park up here. Hey. Check out this teepee, all right? Uh, oh. Um. Where do we go in? Yeah, oh, you can't go in there, huh? It's not creepy. It's just trying to show a story. Wow. That's pretty cool. Look at that boat. That's a canoe. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. This is the scale model of what will eventually be up there on the mountain. Pretty cool. Little ways to go. We just finished up at Crazy Horse. So we did Mount Rushmore today at Crazy Horse. And now we're heading for Billings, Montana. Which is like six hours from here. And we're going to try to do Yellowstone tomorrow. So what did you guys think of today? Pretty cool. Um, pretty cool. What was your favorite part? My favorite part would probably be Crazy Horse. Me too. Yeah, um, me too. I wonder what it would be like when I take my kids like, to Crazy Horse. I wonder what it would take. Like, like how much further it will be done? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'll I be don't know. Fun. I'm going to find out. It's going to take a while, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's going to take like 140 years or something like that. No, more than that. You think more? Maybe. I guess it depends on how much funding they get, huh? Could you believe in that movie that we learned that he was doing all the work himself at first? Yeah. For five years. Isn't that That's crazy? crazy? And he would have to go up 741 steps. And then if something was not working right, he'd have to go back down and back up and back down. Yeah, it's pretty wild. That must have been tiring. And he said he would put a 50-pound bag of dynamite on his shoulder. Yeah. The wires on the other shoulder and a steel pole. Yeah. Climb 741 steps. Do you think you could do that? No. Like climbing to the top of the China thing, or whatever. Great Wall of China? Yeah. Great Wall of China. Probably, uh, yeah. it's probably a lot higher than that. Way higher than that. But I will say that you guys probably learn more today at these national parks than you would have in school all week. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. definitely say that, huh? Yes. All right, cool. Hey, there's some people on some horses. Check that out. Wow. Yeah. So, um, I guess, yeah, I guess that's this episode. Um, we're the Slow Traveling Singers. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Soon to be on YouTube, I guess. WordPress. WordPress, yeah, we got a blog on WordPress. Um, it's all under Slow Traveling Singers, so check us out. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.